Well, hello folks. Welcome to the Den of Sharpness. Yeah. This is a Boker Jim Wagner reality based blade. Now, I worked my tail off trying to get this one to be an auto. It sort of would work, but for some reason, it just wouldn't work. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't work like it does when I don't have the spring in it. And this one, I mean, it's, you could hold the button down, you could do all kinds of, you know, fancy stuff with it. But I really like these. I really, really enjoy this. Look at that blade. I mean, that blade is pretty bad to the bone. And of course, I got it monster sharp. I ended up I end up reprofiling all these. I got this. That's the people mover. Supposedly the the when you stick it in your pocket, it's supposed to look like a a click top of a pen because it's got the deep carry pocket clip. Okay, if you can see that. So, I tried to convert this one, and it wouldn't really convert. For some reason, it just wasn't as snappy. You push the button, and it wasn't be it wouldn't be as snappy as a Kalashnikov for a, you know, a Boker Strike. So, I'm gonna try it again. Here is another Jim Wagner reality-based blade. This one's different. Different shaped blade. Os, Os 8 blade. This one's newer than this one. But the handles are the same. It doesn't have the same bottom on it. When I bought this one, they never said anything about the tool that you need the little spanner wrench to go in these holes here. So nothing came with it. What I'm going to do, this one is the same. It's got a lock though. This one has a lock up here. And that made me think that this might be, this might be an auto. But I got an auto coming. I have an auto coming. But I mean, this one is super I mean, drop, shut, unbelievable. You can flick this one out. But I'm going to open this up and see if this one is convertible. I got my springs right here. I got, I got these big springs. That's what goes in the Kalashnikov. So let's see if this actually can be done on this one because this one is just newer I mean it's got a detent here that's just you know sucks it right in with the plunge lock the lock the, the whole button works better you know I had this one for sale on eBay three different times and then I kept taking it off saying you know what I'm going to keep it this one you have to open the blade because that blade is just so bad to the bone. Let's put them next to each other here. And you can see. So let's see how this goes. Here's the internals. There's the safety. Uh, here's your actual stop pin. Goes right in there. Alright. I got the glass breaker off. Or no, that's that's the pivot screw. There's the glass breaker. There's the pocket clip. 
here's the button side of the handle and the blade and I'm going to point so hopefully you can see to do your own auto conversions right there is where the, the spring coils up and it goes right in there so let me get a spring out and show you how they fit and I've even had to modify a spring just a hair I had to these springs come and they're real straight but you want it to lay down in there so I had to bend it down just a hair and that's how the spring would go it would be right right like that All right and then oh man this is magnetized so then we take this little stick up on the spring right here and we put it through that hole and it's very very tricky to do so you got to take all this out because it's just going to fall out everything's just going to fall out okay here's where the pocket clip goes very ingenious design of this pocket clip now that spring looks like it got a little over torqued from when I was trying to stuff it into this one it looks the same it all looks the same now that safety that's just plastic that should be a little piece of metal now you got to get I hurt my elbow really bad so okay there you go you get that on there oh, gotta push your pivot through gotta turn and you gotta hold all this with all your might here and where is the pit there's the stop little backstop pin you're doing a lot at one time here okay so I let it lean on that backstop pin and I'm going to put in my spring and I am just so hopeful that this is going to be a wonderful auto when I'm done see there is a little detent right there in the back side of the blade that this plunge lock or release mechanism goes and hits oh, I'm gonna I might have to do this off camera here because I'm I'm not really good with little parts like this okay yeah, stand that up in there Then you can't forget this goes in here. That's for the screw for the glass breaker. And then you got to put all of this together. I mean, I can't seem to get it here. There, I watched one guy and he says the exact same thing. He says, you'll put this together in seconds, one time, and then another time, it is going to be a royal SOB, because you're not a little Taiwanese person, with little itsy bitsy fingers. Okay, then you got to get, get that on, and then, oh, there you go, I got it. Oh, guess what? Forgot the god dang. Oh, I 
forgot the the lock. All right, let me check this out. I'll get right back with you. I got it where the lock is detenting. I don't know if that's a word, but now I'm going to tighten this up. I'm doing it with just my fingers, and then I'm going to use this little spanner that they give you, and then I forgot to put this in. Oh, good God. You know, when they're doing this at the factory, they got like a jig to set everything up in. I'm wondering if I can spread this apart just enough to get this in. Okay. This is the same thing I did with the other knife like three times and it wouldn't work I mean it would snap open but it was slow as molasses for some reason there was something wrong with this this one here okay let's hurry up and throw a screw in and I noticed when I was putting the other one together if these screws seem to be too tight these screws right here if they seem to be too tight, it was binding up in here on the pivot. Just for gee whiz information here. The lock is working. The button is working. And I go to release it and nothing happens. I think... See, some, something is really loose here. Well, look, there it is. And it's not, it's not firing. Now, how loose do you have to have this pivot? There it goes. But I mean, that is... That's a pretty loose pivot. Okay, and you locked, unlock. It's not as snappy. That this one over here never even snapped that hard without the pivot being like so loose it was ridiculous. Well, maybe that's okay, huh? Maybe I did it. Maybe I did it, and it'll loosen up a little bit over time here. See, that was not too great. I guess it's okay. So, let's put the thing all the way back together, okay? Okay. I couldn't get the other one to even do it that good without the pivot completely being like so loose it was ridiculous because every time I tightened the screws up, it was binding up here for some reason. Let's see if it's doing, no. Oh, God dang. Okay. Did I draw blood? No. Huh. Well, it's, it's getting better. That's a Boker Kalashnikov spring. I got big ones and I got smaller ones. They all have the same amount of twists in the spring. Always, you hear that? A little loosey goosey on the old uh, on the old safeties. You could probably take that safety out, and it would never matter. 
If only I could get this one to do it. But this will remain just an, a manual. Maybe this was supposed to be a manual because it doesn't have the safety. And Boker's big into having a safety on a lot of their autos because this button now, there's the button for this one. There's the button for this one. It sits a little proud on this one, not on this one. Huh. Hmm. Let's see if it's as snappy as a regular Kalashnikov. All right, folks, here's the differences that you can see on the reality-based Jim Wagner blade. You know, it's a little different. Looks like the screw heads are bigger. It's got these ribs, and of course this one has texturing and finger grooves. All right. So, let's see. Oh damn, my hand is in the way. And eh, not that snappy. Now this is my Boker Kalashnikov with S30 V. Uh, steel and see how much more snappier that is I mean good God does that come out with authority and it may be because I mean the pivots and everything are different on these there's the difference now of course I have no pocket clip on this one and I got the pocket clip on this one so, there's the big diff. And I noticed, well, the, the, this sticks a little proud, but not as bad as this. This is, the button over here sticks out a whole lot prouder. Because I'm telling you, I mean, this is supposed to be some fighting knife. Just like this one. That's supposed to be some fighting knife, you know. And um, I would think if you're in a knife fight, you want to do that. You don't want to do this. Right? And you might not want to do this. You're going to go, damn, I wish that was quicker. <laughs> so, there you go. Putting it together. Doing the auto conversion. The auto conversion. See, there's a lot of play in there. That's the reason why I have so many problems with this one. I said, screw it. I'm going to go back to... And see, I don't like how loose this is. It's got to be very loose to do anything. I might really stuff that full of some serious... I mean, I can move it with my hand, with my finger. Look at that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I can just move it. That's not good. You don't do that on these. You don't see that pivot screw moving. So, I don't not... I do not know... Come on, Jim Boker. Or Jim Wagner. Let's see. I just tightened it up. And it doesn't even want to fire now. That is what the problem I had over here. That if for some reason these don't seem like they're made to be autos. But I got an auto coming that's supposed to be an auto from the factory or from you know being converted yeah there's all kinds of loosey goosey in there I might just take that out I got plenty of autos and you don't really need it to be an auto hmm very interesting if there's some uh, Jim Wagner folk out there who know a little more about these, put your comment below and let me know 
What is going on here? Why is that got to be? I mean, I can move the pivot with my finger. In a minute, I don't know when I need to tighten it up. When it's closed. I mean, it needs to be snug, you know? It needs to be snug. I mean, I don't even pay attention to this one here, as I know. Man. And inside, this one looks exactly like this one inside this aluminum. They all look the same. Huh. Well, I'll give it a little shot and see what the story is. Well, that's one for the for the books for you boker folks. I'm a boker guy. Now I am. I'm kind of in, I'm kind of invested in being a boker guy. This is smooth though. But, for some reason, you really got to push this open. You can see I got a screaming mirror edge on this one, and that's what this one's going to get here very shortly. All right, well, thanks for hanging with me on this. If you know any more than I do, put your comments down below and kind of let me know, all right? So, I'll see you on the next one. All right, folks, guess what I did? P.S. I took the spring out. You, something is goofy here with these Jim Boker thing, these reality-based blades. Something is strange that they just don't seem to want to be the same as that. So, I'm happy with this one. Just doing that. Plunge lock. And I'm going to test this. See, I got that nice and tight. I didn't like the, the blade play that I had to have it so... You had to have the pivot so backed off that now... Yeah, I mean, it's not... It's just not falling like it was before because I got it tight. And the knife, the blade is tight now. So I just went back to it the way it's supposed to be. So now I got to put a screaming edge on these, on this one here. All well and good, but for some reason... I'd like to find out what reason that is. Maybe it's a different spring setup, a different type of spring, a bigger spring, a smaller spring, or whatever. But they put that hole in there to make a spring. I'll know more because in, in about two days, I'll be having a Jim Wagner Boker reality-based blade that says it's an auto. It says... It's an auto. It's from a reseller. And it came, obviously, from a collection. So, I'm just going to use it like that. The same way I use this one. It's just going to be a little bit of a red-headed stepchild. But, there you go. Thanks for watching again. <laughs>